Hello, this is Arthur Hill with StockCharts.com. It is Friday, December 6th, and you're tuned in to Don't Ignore This Chart. Today, we're going to take a look at the yield curve, and chartists can easily plot the yield curve at StockCharts.com using two different symbols. First of all, we have dollar $YC3MO, and that is the difference between the 10-year Treasury yield and the three-month Treasury yield. And then we have dollar $YC2YR, and that is the difference between the 10-year Treasury yield and the two-year Treasury yield. So basically, the 10-year represents the belly of the curve, and it's a very key rate that is used to set mortgage rates and other interest rates. And then at the short end of the curve, we have the three-month and the two-year. And the difference of these is basically the yield curve. And the yield curve is steep when there's a big difference in the positive, where the 10-year is much higher than those shorter term rates. So you can see that the yield curve started to move down in September and October, but now it has started to turn up and steepen even more over the last seven to eight weeks. And that's a positive development for banks because banks make money by lending, borrowing short and lending long and they capture the difference. And if the economy peaks up, picks up, they will start lending more and that should improve profitability. So I think we want to be watching banking stocks over the next few weeks and months. So keep that in mind as you're watching those charts. Thanks very much for tuning in and have a great day.